Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And as you can see by the title, I have a wine review. This is my first time reviewing a wine, but let me tell you, I love wine. And I have been drinking wine enough time to tell which one is my favorite and which one is not. I am not gonna say my favorites today, but I am gonna talk about one that I just posted on Instagram and today I receive a comment from a subscriber from Instagram, from a follower. Uh, the name is on Instagram, Ilo V Avocado. And the person said, I am not if you're a girl or a boy, let me know. Um, that should be a YouTube video. Um, I don't know if that person knows what um, the name of the wine uh, means, but I, I will try to use the correct the correct pronunciation. Um, it's the Manège Etois, Manège Etois wine. Um, this one is the Silk and it's called a red, soft red blend, okay? And this one here, is a California 2020. Yes, I have one open over over here already. I got a second bottle today for uh, video purposes. And here is how it looks close, okay? In here, um, it says that has 13.5% uh, alcohol volume and it's a Gently pressed, delicately aged. All right. So in the in the label, you can see um, the name. According to my research, Manesha Tua means a sexual encounter between three people, and in other words, a threesome. Why is this a threesome? Well, this is a blend of Pinot Noir. Malbec and Petit Syrah, three wines in here. Also says that this is a, um, a mix of sherry and red raspberry. In here, you can see like a little um, thing that says love yourself in the sick sensual pleasures of silk. Let the exotic fragrance arouse your senses. While succulent sherry and rib raspberry flavors softly caress your palate. Okay, so in the back you have more explanation and you also have the website and if you wanna pause, here is the website more information about the wine. And here is the label. Okay, I have my cup here. I'm going to pour it so you can see it. I don't know if you see that color. I'm gonna talk about that color in a couple of minutes. So if you drink red wine, remember that will stain everything around you. So I'm not gonna do what I always do that I lick <laughs> the bottle, but I always do like, you know, sorry. This is the corch right there. Beautiful. It's one of those that has like wax on it, but it has the, the little two um, ladies probably it stamp on them. Okay, now look at the color right here. So I found a website that um, talk about this especially this wine, and uh, according to Glenn Andrade, he is the vice president of wine making. This is a bright red ruby color, and I, I agree with him. 
And also, um, it's a bright, bright ruby in color with pink cherry and raspberry aromatics. And when I drink this, I felt like a spice. It's so good, guys. Um, every time I drink Pinot Noir, that's what I feel. I feel. So with this one, I feel that spice. Here it says that uh, cherry and raspberries aromatics, a spice. That's that's the word that I underline because it is the same that I felt of dried flowers, a soft and graceful mouth feel. Yes, it is really soft feeling. Also. In that website, I found that the Manage I, I hope I'm saying it right, has two, uh, two wines. This one, this is the Silk, and it also has the Midnight, and it's true. Midnight is, a, it says that is a, another, I'm not sure if it's another red. Yes, it's a red blend. I think it's a red blend uh, of other uh, three, other three. But midnight will be dark and mysterious, and this one, the silk, it is soft and elegant to the palate, and it's true, also true. So here I'm gonna taste it again. It goes down so soft it is not a dry wine if you are wondering I am not a huge fan of very very sweet wines like Moscato and very very dry like well let's see let's say Merlot the only sweet Merlot that I have tasted in my life, it's um, from Chile, and it's also on my Instagram, and it's Culitos, Los Culitos Wine, and it's from Chile. I tasted for the first time in Puerto Rico, Merlot, and it's sweet, soft, really, really good. But this wine is the best red wine that I have tasted because it's not so sweet, it goes down smooth and goes with everything, goes with every type of food and that also is on the website. Now I have a little experiment because I am not a, a I, I drink wine every weekend but I don't like to eat wine and have my in my stomach empty, you know. I like to have some snacks or something on hand and uh, I am not an expert on the on the cheese, but my favorite snack with wine will be chocolate or olives. And I heard that dark chocolate goes really, really well with red wine. So I have an olive right here, a regular olive with pepper, that's it, and chocolate, dark chocolate. So let me get the olive first. This is a regular olive, very salty, but I love them. Now, I'm going to taste the wine.
no no weird um taste like sometimes you eat something and you drink the wine and you're like whoa the wine is bad no it's the same it's the same now i have some water i don't know if i should do this but let me do it just in case Now let's taste the chocolate. By the way, this chocolate, hmm. I'm not gonna say the name. They are not paying me. Neither this wine, but just in case. All right. Let's taste. Mm. Goes really, really well with dark chocolate or with any chocolate. I think it go, goes much better with the chocolate. So if you want to pair the Manage with chocolate, the silk one, you can. You will not regret that. I really like it. So good, so good. Well, guys, um, let me show you again in case you want to know. I bought this at Walmart and I paid $8.99. Okay, $8.99 for this bottle. And I don't know what else to tell you other than it's really good. And you should try it if you are a wine lover and a wine taste test taster um, let me know in the comments um, any anything that you want to say comment in this video um, I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one bye